Um, Cindy's going to talk about tutor.com. I didn't have this on the schedule because I didn't see her before. But um, I think it's a really, really, really good service, and it's a way for you guys to get more help than I can give you during the week. Um, and the, the, the really interesting thing is to be able to go back when you find somebody you like to work with that person so it's not like a strange person every time you call. Yep, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, just a couple of basic things you access tutor.com from your canvas courses so if you get any like link from outside of that it takes you to an outside place and they'll say like well you need to pay for it get out of there right away go into any one of your canvas courses any one of them and then you access it um, from right here from any of your canvas courses so that's how you find tutor.com the other thing is is that ccd students you get 10 hours it's just automatically assigned at the per beginning. semester per semester yes at the beginning of the semester but if you sometimes you know you're taking two or three classes maybe you're taking something that you need a lot of support if you were not those 10 hours um, reach out to your advisor um, or reach out to your teacher and um, they will reach out to someone like me and we will get you more hours so it's just it's really easy I just send an email and they will just add more hours to your account so don't worry, oh, I'm going to use up my 10 hours. You don't need to worry about that. Use them if you need them, and then if you run out, you let, um, you let either your teacher or your advisor know, and they'll get you more. So one of the nice things is Daryl's been using tutor.com, and um, the one thing he came to me is it was like, I found this tutor. The tutor was great, and now I can't find him anymore, and I don't know what to do because my session closed out. So I found him to the tutor, and then we saved him. So what you want to do is, if you, once you click on tutor.com, and thank you, Daryl, for letting us use your account, you can kind of see that there's these options where you can connect with the tutor now, you can schedule a tutoring session, you can just submit a paper for review. So, um, Daryl, what did you do when you originally went in there? Did you connect with I went to the topic, uh, counting English, count, yep, that one, yep. and English. And then it came up with uh, the subjects, and you got uh, the 1061. Right, okay. Went into that. And then um, I did chat only. Okay. Um, so I was talking back and forth with um, actually three different people. Um, I, I started with one, and then all of a sudden it got disconnected. And so I went to a second one. Okay. And then I went to a third one because each one, of them, and apparently there's a certain period, but one of the things that I was able to do was send them my paper. Yep. Yes. And so the, you, you entered a question, and the question yep. could be, Hi, how are you? you yep. know, for, for whatever. Um, I sent them the paper, and they read the paper. And was then you they, right there waiting there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. And then once they, they have finished reading it, then they asked if you wanted help with the grammar part of it, the English part of it, or the content part of it, which was, was neat because it allowed me to, you know, look at both parts of it. Now, when Gail corrected it using that Rubik stuff, yeah. um, it, it, was, it was the same thing that the English, now, the English tutor helped me with. Three different tutors had three different opinions about the paper. And that was great because um, it allowed me to, you know, oh, okay, I could do this and do this and this. And, uh, you know, it was, it was neat. And then they were talking about content and, and about um, the, what the hook is and everything wrong about me. No, yep. it, it was the same thing. So, and then for the second one, for the one that, that we just did with the thesis, um, I went back and I said, what do you think of this idea for a thesis? And I got comments back about that, and I, again, I definitely appreciate it. Really, and it, it wasn't, I mean, you got, you're giving us 10 hours. I don't think I've used 30 minutes so far. You know, with all yeah. of this stuff going back and forth. Yeah. So, so this is great. So that, that's one way to do it, where you can just, what do you need help with? You're, uh, you're going to get whatever tutor is available at that point. But you can say, you know, I want to, my topic is English. I'm taking 1061 because that's English composition. 
and then you can do chat only. I, and I, I'm not sure how the chat and voice works, but you know what I'm saying? You got 10 hours, like you've got a lot of help there with your paper and it wasn't even 30 minutes. Experiment, try it. You're like, oh, no, 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 I don't like that part. You know, and you can attach a file on there, right? And absolutely, there's right here. And this is how he did it. So he's like, enter the question, I need help with my paper. You can attach the paper that you're working on, go to your computer, upload the paper. Then they'll have everything that you're working on and they're right there to talk you through. And, then, and you're there too, so in real time, you can kind of like figure out, oh, you know, I'm not sure about the thesis statement strong, or I'm not sure if my topic sentences are strong, or whatever questions that you have, you can talk it over with a tutor. Now, there are some other options in that um, you can schedule a tutoring session, and this is maybe what Daryl's going to do, because now he's found a tutor that he really likes. He got randomly assigned this person. He really liked the way that they were helping. He thought the feedback was really helpful, matched a lot of what um, Gail was telling him. So now he could schedule a session, a tutoring session, with that specific tutor because he likes them. And then the other thing you could do is you could just submit, you're just like, submit a paper for review. Um, and you can just be like, okay, I either, um, this is an interesting one too, because if you submit a paper for review, you know, you can drop off an essay. There's two different times where you can do a, um, a 50 minute, oh, okay, they change it. It's when we were doing the bigger one, the one where you're taking, when you go to take that seminar on educational inquiry, you get an A. Are they doing a grammar check it and everything? Well, I'm sure you have to ask for that. Yeah, yeah, this is, that's a very good question. So you would do drop off 50 minute maximum, and you know, basically, you're, it asks you if you're undergraduate or graduate. You're undergraduate. Um, what is the topic of the paper? So they ask you just like, go ahead and put in your topic. Like, what is it that you're writing about? Where are you in the writing process? It gives you a drop-down menu here. And they'll say, you know, super rough draft needs a lot of work still. Or you can say, I think I'm on track, but need some feedback. Or I just need a second set of eyes. Like, just take this and just skim this over and let me know what you think. This. Um, and then you're going to need, you know what? It says, please describe your assignment and any instructions you receive from your teacher. I would just um, cut and paste the basic of what the assignment guidelines were so that they know what you're trying to do, accomplish in the paper. Is it a comparison contrast or is it, you know, an example essay or is it a narrative essay, whatever. They want you to know what the teacher is asking you to do and then tell them what citation format that you're using and you'll be using your MOA for this class. Um, now if you're in a, well, and then you upload your paper, you browse your paper, you do that and you submit that and you will get somebody who will look at your paper, make some comments on it based on what you've asked them to do and um, I'm pretty sure they just email it to you. So, that part I'm not exactly how you get that back, but you are definitely notified that they were paid, and they'll get it back to you within 12 hours. Um, one thing is, is again, like I think what Daryl said is that he, one, he was getting different advice from different people. You know, it's um, don't do that, but don't submit a paper for review at the last minute because if they, you want to be able to make sure that you review that, take that, and maybe they didn't give you exactly what you needed, so you might have to do it again. So just do it a little bit in advance, and then you'll be able to assess the feedback that you're getting. And the thing I will say is that the more you do it, the better you're going to get at figuring out if what they're telling you is what you need in here. Yes, um, you know, Make sure you describe about getting back to the, the, per, the tutor that you liked. Um, yeah, that's important. And then one of the problems I found with that was um, we, we've got basically a, got a window of six days to generate a paper and you know and, and to get it in. Um, with trying to get back to the tutor I liked was going to be two days later, and so it made it so that I couldn't get back to that same tutor because it was it was, it was after the due date. Right. There right. Was, it would be so after. that's why it's good to do a little bit of planning now that you know you've got this person that you like. Now as soon as you're ready, you can just kind of. Um, so anyway, that is how you submit a paper for review. Cindy, can you hit that schedules just so we can see like... The schedule what, a tutoring session? Is that where we're allowed to... Oh yeah, then we can pick... That was Michael M. That's Steph. Who are these? Well, we, you know what? I'm going to show you how to do that. Teachers, like, he shows like up at... Or something? I'm sorry. These people have degrees in English and stuff? Exactly. Yeah, so they'll tell you right here what they have degrees in. So. Um, uh, 
um, Daryl favored it. I showed we worked on this before, and D and um, Daryl really liked Michael, and so he we favored him, which is why he shows up at the top of um, at the top see, of his list. available date is the 28th of February. Right, so he's not, he's, he's not busy. doing this a lot. Right, exactly. So, um, oh right, he's just scheduled. He's got all his appointments are booked. So, um, but they tell you he's got a bachelor's in English and literature. Where he's you know where he's got his degrees from. You know, the different people have things. You know, their degrees are in biology or psychology. Um, so it works for any of your classes at CCB. It's free, and it, I really recommend that you just try it. And again, if you try it once and you're like, oh, I don't like that, then just keep, there's there's going to be something in there. You just have to. It's just like anything. Get do you get better at it with some practice? Um, you guys have any questions for Cindy? I don't roll it. And then you're like, oh my gosh, but where, I don't remember what they told me. Like, what did they tell me? I don't know. So you go right here up to my account, and you click on my account. Basically, that will tell you every session that you've had. It will give you a transcript of the chat. Oh, right. oh that's great so that you have a transcript. You see, if I open the sessions at um, it's gone, like here they are, and you can replay the session, you can view the transcript, you can ask the question again, you can email the transcript to your teacher for any of these. So um, the other thing is, is if you can go... Um, ah, my favorite, favorite tutors. tutors. Oh yeah, here, No, 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 when you're in, so you're going here, so you've had, so you're in this thing, these are all the transcripts of the <coughs> session. Right here at the top it says add to faves. Right here, you click on that thing to add them to your favorite, and when you click into tutor.com, that person, you go schedule a session, that person will be right at the top of your list. Great. And then,